Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Hydreigon in the Open Ultra League. Now this is going to be a kind of a difficult Pokemon to use at times because of how many weaknesses it does have and how often you're going to be seeing them weak to fighting fairy dragon ice so you have to look out for those wall ring dragon breath users counter users and it's just a very awkward thing to use and if you encounter a charm user well just good night i mean you're going down in a couple of charms so we're going to be pairing it up with regirock trevenant deoxys defense and like for the last few battles we have the crobat which it really was a good team i wish i was using the crobat the entire time but with the weaknesses aside, Hydreigon is actually going to be doing some pretty awesome stuff here. So I had to go with the shiny. You already know this thing looks amazing. I did get a 100. Haven't completely maxed it out yet because there is really no need. It is okay. It's pretty good as a pure dark type attacker with brutal swing and raids, I suppose. In Master League, it is going to have some play. But I felt like the entire time using this thing, it kind of felt like there was something else that could simply be better that can just do better than this uh like i said granted there's going to be times where it is going to actually be really coming in handy and you're going to see those battles here we have a nice 30 minute video so make sure you go get yourself a snack sit back relax hit that like button it really does help me out really do appreciate it you don't have to support me in any other way if you don't want to just simply hitting that like button helps me out a ton all right so we got the deox out here nice and shiny it is not even going to be completely maxed out going for the thunderbolt here just going to go ahead and swap into our Hydreigon and go for that Brutal Swing. I, was I calling it Brutal Hammer before, right? Did I, <laughs> I even name my damn video that? All right, so as far as Hydreigon... Oh, we're taking the win. Look at that clean sweep. So see, it's nice when you get Dragon Breath Stab. Obviously, for the most part, every single Dragon Breath user is going to get stabbed from it. Uh, and that Brutal Swing is going to be charging up fast. Now, as far as that third charge move or that second charge move, whatever... Uh, I did have Dragon Pulse for a while, and then I swapped it to Flash Cannon just in case we had the opportunity to actually throw it up against a fairy. Seeing that we have that Dragon Breath pressure, I didn't feel like it was necessary to even go with the Dragon Pulse because, honestly, I didn't get off the Dragon Pulse when I was using it at all, or the Flash Cannon when I had it. The only time I got off a Flash Cannon is when an opponent lagged out, and I quite literally locked on down them. I, I was waiting forever, so I just locked on down them, and it was crazy. Uh, and then I just bring in Hydreigon. There was a Sylveon in the back, and I got to the Flash Cannon and a one-shot at it. So uh, that's never going to happen realistically. If you're going up against a fairy type, you're not getting to no freaking Flash Cannon. You're, you're done. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to take them off guard with that energy already stored up and they have to have shields down and just you know let it go basically so there you go there is that story hydreigon it is a amazing pokemon i mean i mean just look at its design it has a it's literally a pot leaf look i mean come on let's just be real it's it's, it's that <laughs> but its typing is just so difficult dragon and dark it's like come on work with me here a little bit all right so we'll get into the commentary just want to you know, talk your ear off before we get into all that. And this is a crazy battle. They take the win with about one HP. Good game there. All right, what are we going to see? Leading with Trevenant, met with a wall rain here. And, you know, this is kind of like that double-edged sword, sort of. Uh, yeah, you know, it really depends on who shields what and all that good stuff. So they're going to be letting it go. We basically need to really take this thing down as low as we can. So we're going to go ahead and shield that up here because... Yeah, we do have the Hydreigon, but we also have the Regirock. And Regirock, I'm going to have to say, I could have simply made a video for, like, you know, another Regirock video because the thing was putting in the dang work. So they do have a shiny Caesar Egg Scissor. I mean, it's almost one-shotting. And that's uh, another thing about Hydreigon. It can't take a hit. I mean, I know that was super effective, but wow, come on. This thing is even defensive, Wade. It's, like, it's not like that helps it out so much, but... <laughs> You know, it's a little unfortunate because the shiny looks so cool. The design is probably got to be top 10 in Pokemon, I personally think, for Hydreigon. Uh, really went all out there with a unique Pokemon style with a kind of a, you know, darker dragon twist to it. Anyways, what's going on? Got the Electrovirus. So what's going to happen here is we're going to go for Stone Edge. And I do believe, I don't think we're, yeah, we're not going to lock on down that. There's no way. 
Uh, we're going to get hit by a wild charge. And then we should be able to get to this next one. Oh, we're not going to get to it. All right, so they're going to take us out here. And we got to farm them down. They debuff themselves. And we're just going to go for that Shadow Ball with our Trevenant. And take the win. So this Trevenant is going to be XL. And, yeah, oh my goodness, I love this thing so much. Next battle, what are we going to see? Leading with that Trevenant. Met with a Giratina. Let's see, do they have Dragon Breath, Shadow Claw? Okay, that's that's fine. No problem at all. So Hydreigon is going to be able to counter this thing pretty nice if they do have Shadow Claw. I don't recommend using Hydreigon as a swap-in. Uh, something that's going to be four times weak to anything Hydreigon weak to Charm, Fairy. I wouldn't recommend it because it's just pretty much game over. I did it a couple of times. I learned my lesson. I should. I already knew what I was doing, but I just couldn't help. I was like, let's just see what happens. Oh, yeah, there's that charm swap in. And there you go. Look, look, I do it. And there it is. Look, look, as we were... I swear I completely forgot I actually did this. So here we are. There's no way you ever get to a flash cannon. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I drink it. I, I didn't hold it against it. I was just thinking, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. All right. Because Regirock said, hey, I got your back here. So we're going to go ahead and take out that Togekiss with the Stone Edge. But we do have to worry about an Empoleon here. We got to the Focus Blast. They're, they're getting to their charge move first. We've got a CMP and hitting that Focus Blast. Let's see if this is going to one-shot the Empoleon. It should take it out. Regirock said, hey, 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 I'm going to come in here and sweep up. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And... This is not going to KO, and we're going to be able to get to a Stone Edge. And like I said, Regirock is just going to come in here and sweep up and just bring in an order to this chaos. All right, next battle, we're going to see a Luxray here. Okay, no problem, no problem. And we're going to be resisting that electric here. Psychic Fangs is going to start adding up if that's the move they do have here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Seed Bomb. There's no need to go for a Shadow Ball at this point. We're going to be able to farm down. They're going to keep debuffing us here, and they're going to bring us low, which is okay. I mean, this is a great matchup here. Everything in the back is really not going to worry about this at all. Uh, so we're in a great position with all this energy. They deb debuffed us, but that's okay. They're coming in with a Wall Rain. We're going to just start throwing these Seed Bombs here, and we will let them farm us up at this point. But we are going to swap because we do want to potentially keep this if there is a fighter in the back. Seeing that our team is weak to fighting in the back, if we did encounter a, a counter user, a fighter, or whatever, we will be able to do quite a bit of damage with the Trevenant because of the resistance with that little amount of health. Uh, Hydreigon simply just can't go up against the counter user. So it is going to be a Venusaur, which we're going to be weak to, but we're going to be able to dish out Stone Edge, which is neutral damage. Lock on not doing too much. Frenzy Plant will easily take us out here. We're going to go ahead and let that go because we're going to bring in the Hydreigon. I mean, the thing's not getting too much screen time. We are eight minutes in, but we still have, I mean, uh, 30 minutes of video or like 22 minutes left of battles, right? So plenty of stuff. We will have more experience as we do keep using it. I get more comfortable with it and we're able to pull off more stuff. And then the algorithm is going to be kinder to me. It's like, oh, Oh, you got a you got a one four. Oh, hey, hey and a two one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll we'll give you some okay leads now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and swap here. They bring in the this is the one where I lock on down completely. Okay, and then I swap into the Hydreigon. Uh, I just wanted to show you that because they said you know go battle league is fixed, but I completely understand it's not gonna be perfect all the time. But I was encountering bugs and I was encountering things that they said was resolved. All right, so we're going to be locked in here with a Talon Flame, and this is great for the Reggie Rock. We can just take everything, even if they go for a Flame Charge and then a Brave Bird, it doesn't really matter. So we did want to build up extra energy here, and even a Hydro Cannon at this point is not going to KO the Reggie Rock. Folks, if you don't have one of these, look for somebody who has one, because it's amazing. All right, Ultra League specifically, because look at the work that it's putting in here. Just crazy with Lock On and those uh, just hard-hitting moves. It doesn't need a bait. As a matter of fact, it's probably better just like this. So we bring in the Trevenant, and they're hitting us with Earthquake. They have a Charizard in the back, and we're in one of these positions where this is great, right? We're going to take resisted damage from the Fire Spin, but we do need to look out for the Dragon Claw. That's going to do probably like 50% of our health if we let that go, because this thing just can't take a hit, even though Charizard's not even going to be getting stabbed from it. But our Dragon Breath is whittling down that Charizard slowly but surely, so let's get it. Getting to another Brutal Hammer here. Brutal Swing. Oh my goodness. If I call it Brutal Hammer, whatever. You get what I'm talking about. What sounds better, Brutal Hammer or Swing? 
I don't know. What does it really matter? So we're going to go ahead and uh, swap right into our Trevenant here. Go for the Seed Bomb, taking them down and going for another one immediately on the Shieldless opponent's Charizard and taking them with that Trevenant. And as you can see, Hydreigon was putting in the work. It's really nice with Dragon Breath. I mean, you know, it's always great. So next battle, we're leading with Regirock. We're met with a Gengar. They're immediately swapping into Snorlax. And seeing that we have Trevenant in the back, as well as Hydreigon, that doesn't really want to go up against the Snorlax too much because of the superpower at this point. We want to kind of wait so we can lock ourselves up against the Gengar with it because the only thing we have to look out is going to be, I guess, Sludge Bomb and then specifically Focus Blast. And then, of course, Trevenant just doesn't really want to go up against Snorlax, period. So here we are. I think we do shield this one up because, well, I'm like, all right, maybe they want to double shield their Snorlax here. If they do, that's okay. They've already used uh, some debuffs, so we'll be able to take them out even faster. They let it go, and they're bringing in a champ. This is just perfect. The alignment is just on cue. Now, this is way too soon for any sort of payback, so we can let this go. Rock Slide, no problem. If they swap into Gengar, that's, you know, still no problem at all. This will still be doing a decent amount, but they're going to let it go and then swap into the Gengar. We immediately bring in Hydreigon, and this is the alignment that we've been looking for here. And again, I told you, we're never going to get off the Flash Cannon. I mean, it's just not happening. Is it worth using? Give it a shot. Sure, it's fun. I mean, it's Hydreigon. Have a blast, right? You know, don't worry about ranks, you know? It, 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 this game is so broken right now. Does it even matter? No. This is not even, I'm not even going to get stuck on that. So we had a great lead. They're going to be swapping into a Cresselia, but it does have confusion. So charging, you know, not as fast as it would with the Psycho Cut, but it is dishing out quite a bit of damage. So we know this is going to be Grass Knot here. We shield it up just because we kind of need to just preserve our health here uh, as the confusion is starting to really add up. And I knew they were going to shield this up. We got both shields out of them. I think we do double shield because we knew that the... Talon Flame versus Regirock is a, is a straight up win, right? So we need to kind of get that alignment going again here. So let's see what we have going on. Taking out the Cresselia, I would assume they're going to yeah, farm down with their Talon Flame. Beautiful. They can build up all the energy they want. And let's see, they're going to be swapping into their own Registeel, not Regirock, Registeel. Got the Regi battles going on. Shieldless battles, going for the Focus Blast, swapping into our Hydreigon here. And now I'm thinking, come on, can you even survive a Focus Blast? No, of course not. What was I thinking? So there is your Hydreigon gameplay. I know it's not really its fault, but I, I mean, it, eh, if it could survive that, I mean, it could have done something, but it can't. So I needed to take that out before they got off a charge move because, yeah, Focus Blast plus the Talon Flames charge moves could have maybe potentially done it. But we're surviving. We got to our charge move and we take them out. And Regirock again said, oh, coming in here, finishing it off here for the slackers in the back. All right. So we have <laughs> Hound Doom for the next battle. This is a great matchup for us here. The dark moves are going to go right through us, but the fire's resisted. So I would assume they're going to just keep going for Crunch. Or, yep, they got Crunch on it. Doing a decent amount. They're going to swap into Swampert. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Trevenant here, which is going to have a bad matchup up against the Houndoom. So this is obviously just beautiful. So we're going to let that go. It is just a Hydro Cannon. It looks like they're going to just keep going for those, which is great. Now, we kind of want to build up a little bit of extra energy before we do go for the Seed Bomb, which I would assume they're going to let go right away. Now, yes, Houndoom is going to resist Ghost, but take a look at how much damage this does. This is just showing you how... Yeah, look at that. It's dark. It does so much damage. I, I just that's what annoys me for some Pokemon. They just can't hang. Even though they have a resistance, it's just like, well, that charge move is just so strong in this game. I mean, what's the point? It's like, oh, it's resisted? Not really. Alright, so speaking of which, let's see if uh how much this frenzy plant does. Oh, they go for a sludge bomb. I let it go. Kind of flexing. Not really. Just seeing what I can get away with. You know, it's never nothing against the trainers, right? It's like uh, I know, I'm not, <laughs> it's just to see what I can do here, plus we're showcasing, right? I need to kind of actually show, like, show off a little sometimes maybe, and we're taking the win with Hydreigon. Let's go. Next battle, met with a Jellicent. Now this is not particularly great. Um, the lock-on, not very effective, doesn't matter because it's like, you know, somebody pointed this out because I said, lock-on's resisted. I know, it's the same damage for everything, right, right. But Stone Edge still doing a lot here. We're going to go ahead and let that go. Now, as soon as they threw that energy, I was uh, going to go ahead and bring in our Trevenant. 
building up a decent amount of energy before they do swap into the Registeel and go in for that Shadow Ball here. Now, if they do have Focus Blast and Zap Cannon, we do resist both of those. So they can lower our attack, but we still will be looking pretty good here. Another one of those, I think we can take it, barely. But it doesn't matter because we're going to get to the Seed Bomb and take them out. So they have debuffed us here, and this will be enough to knock out that Registeel. Great, we're winning this matchup. And they're bringing in a Pre-Marina with Charm. Now this is good because Hydreigon. Now folks, I have a little treat for you. Probably something you're never going to see again or haven't seen before and that is hydreigon charming down pre-marina now yeah it did have that much health left but doesn't really matter let's just see what happens here okay so they bring in their jellicent they go for ice beam i shield it up because they did reveal that earlier and we don't really want to take that damage getting to brutal swing now they're gonna let this go because they're thinking i'm gonna charm your butt down yeah one two three and they got to the fourth one but it didn't connect because well, Dragon Breath's damage is just connecting way too fast compared to the Charm, and we take the win with Dragon Breath up against the Pre-Marina. Very nice. So we have a bad lead with our Crobat up against a Walrein. Go figure. I wasn't seeing Walrein leans, and as soon as I put the Crobat in, up in the front, it's like, okie dokie, let's go. All right, so we're swapping into our Regirock, and uh, they didn't swap for a minute, and they go for the Earthquake, doing quite a bit, and it didn't take me by surprise, I'm, you know. This thing can take a hit, and even with this much health, it's still looking pretty good here. Now, we do have the Hydreigon, which can go up against this, and it should be a pretty good matchup. But what's going to happen at this point is we do have the uh, Wall Rain, which is going to be a massive problem since the Hydreigon is so squishy. You know, it's going to be able to spam us with that uh, Icicle Spear, so we kind of need to farm this thing down here. And we're going to go ahead and let this go. They're hitting us with Dark Moves. Okay, another Dark Pulse. Interesting. Now... Going for the Brutal Swing, not Brutal Hammer, right? And they swapped into Talonflame, so I, I'm thinking, okay, we're just going to go ahead and stay here for now. Crobat can take a hit decently, right? And all we need to do is kind of get those shields. Now, we still have two left, so we will shield this up because the Dragon Breath is adding up here. And we will be able to get to another Brutal Swing. Let's see if they want to use both shields here. And they let it go. In comes the wall rain, and they're going to go ahead and decide to like farm us down or something. And we bring in the crowbat. Now we can take a hit at this point. We're going to go ahead and shield up because, yeah, let's just go ahead and preserve that health because as soon as we get this off here, I feel like this really didn't make a much of a difference at all because I still need to get off two wing attacks. And <laughs> yeah, we kind of just wasted a quick move and just risk losing there and then we take the win up against the manda buzz let's go that was a good game there next one we're going to be seeing an obstacle with the crobat and this is a good matchup for you here i guess you got the lookout for hyper beam funny enough i do believe that's what we're going to be seeing here it doesn't really matter because this crobat is a tank it is purified but the attack ivs are very low and i just wanted to do that doesn't have return don't really want it and there's that hyper beam doing a ton of damage now, since they did land this, now they can be happy to probably secure a shield for the next charge move because they know I want to win this matchup. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and farm down. Now, we do have the deep of Poison Fang, so that's going to be looking good for us. And they're bringing in their Charm user, which is a very good strategy because they're getting the Poison type out of the way. They have been deep buffed, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be bringing it in Regirock, which is not even doing anything with the quick move. Going for the stone edge and getting that last shield. We have one left. We cannot let Hydreigon go up against that. We'll be taken out in two charms. Quite literally, two with, with the Shadow Gramble, I, I guarantee you. All right, so they're going to be swapping into Hydreigon, and now is our chance. <laughs> Let's go up against the Swamper. They're going for Earthquake. It's doing a ton of damage. I'm getting a little nervous, hoping I can do a little bit more damage after this. We just need to... Perfect. All right, sure. Sure, this works. And we have a Stone Edge ready to go. We're going to go ahead and throw that right away and take out this Gramble. Regirock yet again, helping us clean up at the end. Let's go. So yeah, Hydreigon's kind of a little bit of a difficult Pokemon to use. Again, you might see people out there who had a good run with it. I mean, that alignment's different for everybody. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Regirock, trying to catch a Flame Charge here and hoping they don't bring in like a Swampert. And it is a Tapu Finny. Of course, it's okay. Let's go, Regirock said. He said nothing. Yeah, he had a blank expression on his face as if, like, what, nothing even phased it, right? 
All right, okay, so let's see what it can do here. We're gonna go ahead and let this go. It survives and gets to the Stone Edge. Like I said, Stone Cold Face doesn't care. It said, well, you hit me with Surf. I'm still gonna bring it down into the low red. So yeah, we bring them low, but I wouldn't call that quite a victory because they won the swap there. We still have two shields. We take out their fairy. So at this point, I'm assuming they're not gonna, they're not gonna have two fairies, right? So they're gonna be bringing in Talonflame. Okay, this is great here. They're going to be bringing in this. There's got to be something in the back that doesn't want to go up against it because they're bringing in the counter that doesn't counter it, right? That we counter it. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Crobat and hold on to the Hydreigon. And they have a Trevenant. There it is exactly. So we're looking good. We're just going to go ahead and get off this Poison Fang, do as much damage. They can farm us down. That's perfectly fine because, I mean, well, it looks like they couldn't. <laughs> it's starting to really add up, hitting us with a Seed Bomb. And Hydreigon's going to be able to clean up. I think we win this with two shields. And yes, we do. We won a, quite a few, actually, games with two shields with the Hydreigon. All right, next battle. What are we going to see with that Crobat lead? A Venusaur. Beautiful. This is like one of the best matchups you can have here. And what are they going to swap to? I would assume they're going to... Yeah, they stayed here for a minute. They throw a Frenzy Plant. So we'll obviously let that go. And we do get this off just so we can start doing more damage. Because as you can see, the Frenzy Plant is resisted. But it will start adding up. So let's go ahead and do some damage. But they swap into a Talonflame in. Regirock said, hey, coach, throw me in. I'm ready to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just take this. We want to build up to almost 100 energy. Actually, I think, yeah, 100. Perfect. Because we want to uh, hit whatever they bring in pretty hard, right? And it is going to be a Blaziken. Should have went for Focus Blast, but technically this is still doing a lot of damage because they are part fire. The fighting is neutralizing it here. Going for another one. Assuming they're going to go ahead and shield up and protecting that thing with all that energy and farm us all the way down. So we can bring in Crobat here. At this point, we're good to go. Uh, yeah, I think we, yeah, we can just let this go. Blaze Kick, yeah, no problem at all. Swapping into Hydreigon to snipe them out. I would assume they had a Blaze Kick almost. And that Venusaur doesn't want nothing to do with Hydreigon. And we take the win and we're looking good, folks. Moving it on to the next battle. If you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do. I really do appreciate it. Met with the Cresselia. Now we just need to look out for the future site. Now, do you believe we have Regirock in this second slot? Let's see. Yes, we do. So I'm going to assume it has Grass Knot and Moon Blast uh, because of that rock typing. Again, the algorithm aligns you with moves. It's apparently not a, based upon Pokemon's type from Niantic. Okay, so moves. Uh, you just pick up on the patterns, that's all I'll say about it. So they swap into their muck, probably trying to catch a Shadow Ball here, but we're not gonna throw. We bring in our Regirock and we're looking good here. So they do have Snarl and Dark Pulse. Of course, they're gonna have Dark Pulse for the most part here, but unfortunately no Poison Jab because we do resist that. But the thing about Regirock going up against this is they can't go for the Poison, so they're gonna be guaranteed to go for that Dark Pulse move. Shielding up that one just to preserve the health here. Taking out the mug, and they're bringing in a Swampert. Now, at this point, we could go for the Stone Edge. It doesn't really matter. They're going to go ahead and take this out. We might even barely survive. No, they, we barely, probably barely took us out there. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Hydreigon in here. That was way too quick, expecting that Hydro Can in here. Let's see how much it does. Okay, acceptable, I suppose. So we're going to go ahead and throw a Brutal Swing here before we do retreat into our Crobat and go for a Poison Fang. Trying to do a little bit of a combo breaker to get that shield out of them, but they let it go. All right, holding on to that last shield. So at this point, we can basically just let this go. We'll go ahead and bring in the Hydreigon to farm them down here. And we'll just farm down the Swampert. Well, this battle's not quite over. At that point, I had that mindset. And then I looked at the health and I was thinking, wait a minute, okay, this isn't over yet because, you know, Earthquake will take us out. And Hydro Pump or Hydro Cannon is doing a decent amount. So we let it go. Just, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. We'll be able to survive those quick moves. I better. <laughs> That's what I was saying, Hydreigon. Hey, you better survive this. And we we're barely able to take the win up against a water type with our dragon, folks. Let's go. All right, next battle, we're met with a muck. This is not a great matchup for us. We could stay here and fight, but we're going to go ahead and bring in our Regirock just right off the gate and see what happens here. It looks like they want to stay. We're going to go for the Stone Edge. This thing just farms up so quick. It's incredible. And we snick, <laughs> snick. We sneak a quick move through. They go for the acid spray, lowering our defense and bringing in a Scrafty. Now, I'm thinking to myself, I want a top left, but if they let this go, I, I wouldn't, there's no way, there's no way and they freaking do. And I'm like, okay, 
No problem. All right, we just needed to get rid of that. We just needed to bring that health down pretty low here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in the Crobat and farm it down, obviously, because well, we're not even gonna be able to get to a charge move. All right, so they go for the Power Up Punch and we farm them down. They're bringing in a Mewtwo. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pretend we're going for a Shadow Ball. Go for the Poison Fang, get a shield, swap into Hydreigon, which resists the confusion. And we also resist the Muck too but they could go for a poison move, which is going to be doing neutral damage in quite a bit as well. I'm expecting they're gonna go for acid spray because that was kind of quick. And let's see what happens. We're gonna easily let that go, obviously, because for one, it's acid spray, and we don't need to worry about that. We need to hold onto our shields for Mewtwo because it can go for dynamic punch, which is super effective. And all these confusions resist it, even though they lower the defense. Dark has a massive resistance to it here, so we're looking pretty good. And we're just going to be able to get to our brutal swing and take the win here. Hydreigon actually kind of getting a little bit of a great showcase going on here for once. It's been doing all right. I mean, I can't really put it down too much. It's actually been good for me here, but that was a pretty nice win there. Looking good. On to the next one. We're going to be seeing a horrible lead with a wall rain. Okay, so we're going to immediately go into our Regis Regi Rock. About to call Registeel. Absolutely never going to use that. And they're staying here. Whenever that happens, it always puts a smile on my face. And we're going to get a shield and they swap into their own Reggie Steel. Okay, now there it is. And we go for a Focus Blast before they can get to anything. Let's see if they want to shield it up. And they do We get a shield out of them. So we don't really want to... I mean, Hydreigon's Dragons resist it. So we let it go. It is going to be a Focus Blast. We survive. Getting to another one. Let's see if they want to double shield this. I would assume they shield this up and then... Okay, well, they have no more shields. What am I talking about? <laughs> this is great. They go for a Focus Blast. Oh boy. Oh boy. So here's the thing. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Hydreigon and farm down. We still have two shields left, but they're going to be retreating into their wall rain. Now here is the bad part. Now we've got to really take this thing out and brutal swing. And let's see the damage. Eh, it's okay. That's all right. It's kind of like a, feels like an Icicle Spear-esque or Leaf Blade-esque kind of type of damage. So we just bring in our Crobat, going for the Poison Fang. I know I could have went for the Shadow Ball, but the whole plan here was to just have this thing absorb it, lower the defense, bring in Hydreigon, farm down, let's go, holding on to our shield, and we should be able to pull this off here. The Registeel should be able to farm that down. They're bringing in a Talonflame. Now I was worried they were gonna like catch, and I think they actually do, even though I was like waiting for it. Let's see, there it is, they caught. Beautiful, that was nice. See, I can't even get mad. I mean, I get mad sometimes. I didn't get mad really here because I knew I was gonna be able to maybe pull this off. So we let this go, we had to kind of call that. And I think that was our win con. So yeah, we were actually gonna lose if we didn't let that go. So what would have happened is we shield that up and they had another one ready to go. They just knew they just couldn't throw it. They had to farm down at this point. So who would have shielded up the first one, the next one would have taken us out because Hydreigon, although resisting fire, is just, it can't, I mean, if, if fairies look at it, it faints, it, get, it just it just melts, turns into dust, all right? I mean, if, if it looks at its weakness, it's just like, please don't. It looks so big and bad and scary, but it's just like this thing that's really not. Anyway, what's going on here? We're up against Cresselia, going for a Poison Fang here. We got a Shadow Ball through, fantastical. All right, so they're going to be shielding up a Poison Fang, which is good. And I do believe we shield this up because we do want to win this matchup. If they want to double shield this, by all means, be my guest. I'm not double shield. Well, we can't anymore. They're going to farm us down if they do shield this. And it's not enough, but we do go for one more quick move and take the win. Surviving with one HP, bringing in a Gengar. Oh, this is beautiful. Bringing in Hydreigon. Now, we just need to look out for Focus Blast, but take a look at this. This is going to be obviously Focus Blast here. I mean, it, you know, totally could have been built up to one and then go for a Shadow Claw, or should I say Shadow Punch? And it was a Focus Blast, a good call on my end. So I screw up here. I should have not thrown this. What I should have done was immediately swapped into the Regirock, immediately. So that was a sloppy and bad and amateur play. I just want to point that out because it was really annoying when I was doing it. I knew I was going to probably still be able to win this because Regirock is just an amazing beast. Look at these, just absorbing these Aqua Tails. We're going to go ahead and lock on farm, all right? And then we're going to Stone Edge this Gengar. So yeah, basically what I should have done was, as soon as they bring in the 
Gyarados immediately swap into Regirock. We wouldn't have gotten to the Stone Edge. Should have been enough, plus a couple of Lock-Ons, right? And then, yeah, we would have, you know, much cleaner. Anyways, what's going on? We have a Regirock thrown into the battle up against a Wall Rain, and they're going to bring in Obstagoon. We one-shot it with Focus Blast. They let it go. Are you kidding me? That was so satisfying, folks. They keep letting this Focus Blast go. Let's get it. <laughs> Soon, we're not going to be able to get any through because there's going to be no one that's going to happen here. So we're going to go for that Stone Edge, doing a ton of damage with that stab. you got to love it. And Icicle Spear is going to start adding up, but we're going to let it go. Felt like, you know, I maybe screwed up here. I should have protected this, maybe double shielded this, because at this point, they're going to be able to farm me down, have a bunch of energy ready to go, spam the heck out of my flyers in the back, and what am I going to do? So I swap, panic swap into our Crobat to just absorb this here, because we can't use that shield quite yet. And if they have a charm user in the back, it's basically over at this point, because Hydreigon's going to get taken out in about three or four charms. It's over. If it's Shadow, it's going to be like two. So we get to the Shadow Ball, desperately just trying to do damage, thinking I'm going to be able to just go in here and, you know, Dragon Breath down. Let's see what happens. I bring in the Regirock so we can have them just spam their charge move before they go down, thinking that, you know, they might get taken out. And we Dragon Breath down. What is in the back? A Trevenant. All right. That's pretty much, out of all the stuff, this is something I definitely want to see. I don't think there's anything it could do, even with its other alternative moves that it has. So, yeah, looking good. And we gave that Trevenant some nightmares and taking the win there. We got a nice 5-0. All right, let's get it. And if you did enjoy this video, folks, give it a thumbs up, please. I really do enjoy it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.